What's up everyone? Welcome to your 30 minute strength and conditioning workout. This is week number three of our pre-program, but if you're just hopping into this workout, I think you're gonna love it no matter where you are in your journey. We've got a strength move coupled up with a conditioning or cardio move in which every single person at every fitness level will make sure they're working their hardest no matter what weight we're using. We've got 30 seconds of work for the strength move, 15 seconds of rest, and then 30 seconds of work for your conditioning or body weight cardio move. I'll show you how to make that low impact if you need that as well. And our tempo is going to be more of an up-tempo workout. So for our strength move, we're going to be two seconds on the eccentric, one second on the concentric. And for your cardio moves, we're just going to stay moving at a pace that you can keep up for 30 seconds for three rounds. Okay, make sure you have fun with this workout. Grab your water, grab your sweat towel, and dumbbells between your 50 to 75% range. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's get into your warm up with a high march. Three, two, one, here we go. Bring your knees right up in front of your chest, tapping with the opposite hand. Two, one, heels to glutes. Good job, just let your ankle kind of flip back and relax. Don't have to flex your toe. Good job, open your chest, keep your hips open. So make sure you're not here yet. Four, three, two, and one, kick your heel out front, scoop down towards it with a straight leg. Feel this movement in your hamstring and your glutes. Good, one more each leg. Hands up and backward circles. So strength moves and conditioning moves today. The main point here is to work hard in your 30 seconds, but also keep in mind, 30 seconds can be whatever you need it to be today. Cross your arms over your chest. So if you just need to show up and move, don't worry about pushing something super heavy. Don't worry about jumping, just move, okay? If you're ready for that extra challenge, go a little heavier, focus on your tempo of kind of an explosive strength move, and then really get intense in that cardio move. Okay, you know what you need today. Whether or not you showed up with motivation, you know what you need, so go there. All right, hips are back and forth. Let's go. Squeeze, reach. Good job. Three, two, and one. Just a little rotation now, and we'll get started. All right, first move, sumo squat and high row for our, con or for our strength move. And then a lateral squat, tap down. So I'm gonna grab my 15 pound dumbbells. Oops, get both of them at 15. All right, so we're gonna go sumo squat. Here, row one. Here, row the other. So keep that tempo pretty good. And then 15 seconds rest, you're gonna go lateral squat, tap down. So you're gonna touch. And touch, touch, and touch. Okay, two to the right, two to the left. We'll go in 10 seconds. Are you ready? All right, alternate every time. Three, two, one, let's go. Squat. Good work. Five, three, two, one, and rest. Move your dumbbells out of the way. In 15 seconds, we'll go to your lateral squat, tap downs, low impact. You're just gonna squat and squat and step it back, okay? Let's go, three, two, one, here we go. Dum, dum, da, 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 d
Good. Stay moving. Remember to drop your hips down. Seven. Nice work. Two, one, rest. Good job. And we go round number two. If you want to adjust your weights, go for it. Work on the explosiveness of the squat this time. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, one. One more, two, one, rest. Good job. Let's go into your lateral squat slides. I'm gonna go up in my next round. If you wanna join me, you can. If not, stay moving, keep that pace up. Two, one, let's go. Fifteen. Four, good job. Three, two, one. Last time through. Two seconds to lower. One second to explode out of the bottom. Five. Two. Let's go. Fifteen. One more, two. One, rest. Move those dumbbells out of the way. All right, lateral squat tap. So let's go. Four, three, two, one. Come on. Good job, are you breathing? 15 more seconds. Four, come on, one more time. Three, two, one, good job. All right, I'm gonna go back down to my 15s for myself. We're gonna go Romanian deadlift to press. Okay, I'm gonna stagger one leg back. I go here, up, here, and up. Okay, let's go there in seven seconds. Focus on the deadlift and then the press. Two, one, let's go. Hinge, pull right up close to your body, press. Ten. One more, four, two, one, rest. All right, another lateral move, lateral skaters, okay? So you're gonna touch it here, slide, touch here, slide, touch here, okay? Two, one, let's go. Good job. Keep this pace up. If you need to slow it down, step, touch. Okay, totally fine. If you want to intensify, you can take that slide out of the middle and go here. Okay, seven, three, 
two, one. All right. Deadlift to overhead press. No pressure here, a good strength move. Then we move quickly in our cardio. Two, one, hinge back. Bring your core right underneath your ribs. 10. One more, three. Rest. Good job. All right, let's go. Lateral skater lunges with the hop in the middle or not. Intensify it by taking the hop out, slow it down by just stepping. Let's go. Good, 15. Three, two, one, rest. One last round. Here we go, grab a weight that works for you. Four, three, Two, one, let's go. 30 seconds right here. Fifteen. Five. Two, breathe. All right, let's lateral skate it out. Then we're on to the next superset. How you doing? Good, stay moving, okay? Two, one, let's go. Wherever you're at, stay moving. This part is meant to keep your heart rate up. 15. Six. Two, one. Grab water. Great job. Breathe, as I'm trying to breathe. Like, you guys breathe. Trust me, you need it. Right over here, I need to breathe. Okay, slowing it down just a bit here for your strength move. We're gonna go wood choppers. Basically a standing core rotation exercise. Okay, so we're gonna hold with both hands on the handle. Side, middle, side, middle. Okay, four seconds. I'm using my 15. Three, two, one, let's go. Side, middle, side. A little rotation so you feel the stretch here. Use this side of your core to pull you back into the middle. So nothing super light, but nothing super heavy, right? You don't want this to be just a shoulder exercise. We're gonna feel the twist. Two, one, good. Move your dumbbell to the side. Tabletop high knees. Okay, we're gonna make a tabletop with your arms. Touch your fingertips or your elbow, whatever you're comfortable with. Twist over, that tabletop just glides here the whole time. Ready? <sighs> Let's go. You don't have to touch your knee, just bring it over, skip. Skip, and if you can make this faster, go here. Low impact, stay right on the floor. Okay, 10. Two, 
One, breathe. And we're back, rotational core. It's holding right in the middle. This is rotation and anti-rotation, so don't twist too far. That's anti-rotation. Also uses the core. Ready? Let's go. Bring it right to your side, pull. Side, pull. Eight. One more. Two, one. Good job. Move it out of the way. High knees. Just a little twist here. If you don't want to do the twist, you can just go regular high knees or just march it out. If you're doing the march, I do want you to twist though. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Good job, 12 seconds. Can you sprint it out? Let's go. Three, two, one, rest. One more round through that. Let's go. Control the core. Ready? Five seconds. Start over here. Feel the stretch. Exhale, two, one. Eight. Three, two, uh, rest. Good job. Let's finish out that high knee sprint. Like I said, you know what you need today. You're here, you're probably over that. I lost my motivation hump, so go hard. What do you need today? Two, one, let's go. Good job, 15 seconds left. I'm gonna tell you to turn it up if you can. Three, turn it up, two, one, let's go. Nine, let's go, seven. Three, two, one, breathe. Good job. Grab water, you're doing fantastic. We've got three big ladders up next. A lower body one, an upper body one, and then a full body, which uses a lot of core. Strength and conditioning, so squat to squat jump ladder is our first move, okay? You do an equal amount of squats and squat jumps, and then you add one. So we'll go two squats with the dumbbells. We'll leave them down, two squat jumps, okay? If you're not doing jumps, it's just a body weight squat. Then you work up to three, three and three, four and four, as many as you can in three minutes. You have three minutes, so feel free to get a little shake out anytime you need it. We'll go in 10. Don't pick your max weight, pick right below that. Three, let's start with two of each. Two, one, here we go. One squat and two squats. And then sit them down, squat jump from there. One. Two. Now we go back and we go to three. Three minutes of this. There's no rush. I want you to explode in those squat jumps. I want you to have good tempo on your squats. So one, two, one. Okay. Good.
First minute done, we're on to minute two. Great job. Nice job, you got a minute and 12 seconds left. You're getting up into those longer reps, so take your time in between strength reps. Okay, so one, and then one, two. seconds left. Good job. 30 seconds left. Come on. Good job, you've got 30 seconds to rest. Your next one, strength and cardio, push-ups, or you can do rows. I'm gonna leave it up to you, and mountain climbers. Okay, so if you wanna do push-ups, you're on the ground here. All right, pick one and stick with it the whole time. If you wanna do rows, you're on the ground here. And then mountain climbers. One, one, two, two. All right, three minutes, let's go. I'm working on my row, so I'm gonna stick with a row. This is one and then two, then your climbers for two each leg. Looking for 5.30 on the clock if you're watching. First minute done. Come on. Good, 90 seconds down, 90 seconds to go. You got this. Keep climbing up if you're doing push-ups or rows. Come on, come on, keep that energy up. I know you're working hard, but I know it starts to fade towards the end. That's when mentally you tap in harder. You've got one minute left in this one. You got this, come on. Good job, 45 seconds.
Last 30. Come on, energy might be fading, but your effort gets higher. Two, one, and breathe. <sighs> Great job, grab water. <sighs> okay, this next one, it's going to be reps per arm, and then one cardio move. You have a snatch, so it's a full body strength move, and then a burpee. If you have one rep, you're doing one snatch left, one snatch right, one burpee. Then you move to two, two on the left, two on the right, two burpees, okay? <sighs> Are you ready? We're gonna go in 15 seconds, grab the weight that you wanna use, and you just need one dumbbell, by the way. You don't have to switch dumbbell or switch arms, so just one dumbbell. Burpees can be step back, jump, whatever you wanna do. Here we go, one and one, three, two, one. Let's go, one snatch left, one snatch right. A full body extension, and then one burpee. Then we go two left, two right. Two burpees, keep that up. As high as you can in three minutes. Four and four, keep it up. First minute, done. Good job. As you get higher, breathe. Take a couple seconds between transitions. Stay moving. Good job, you're in your last minute. Dig your heels in, use your glutes. Thirty seconds. Come on, give me what you got. Nine, eight. Two, one, and breathe. <sighs> Beautiful job. Come on down to your back. You have not made it to your cool down yet. We're closing it out with 60 seconds of a hollow hold. Hands under your tailbone, right here. If you need to lift higher, lift higher. Crunch your shoulder blades up. Five, four, three, 
two, exhale, let's go. You might be shaking, you might be breathing heavy. Lift higher if you need to, keep that tailbone pulling down towards the mat. Okay, the shoulder blade lift really helps keep your abs crunched. Good, give me a flutter. Open and close, let's go. Pulse it up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Hold for 15. Stay strong. Hold, hold, hold. Seven. Three, two, and rest. You have made it to your cool down. Flip over on your stomach. Beautiful job, you're not done yet. Give me two minutes. Exhale, push up. And that is day one Whew. of the best week ever. All right, you're gonna have an incredible week. You're gonna have a great day. If this is your first workout with me, thank you so much for investing the time to train with someone who genuinely cares that your day after this gets better. Okay, exhale, reach your hips back, hands forward. I believe it starts here. I believe with my whole heart that the healthy version of you is the happy version of you. And you have to get happy in order to care enough to get healthy. And exhale, come on up to that tabletop position. Inhale, let your belly drop down. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift it up. One more, inhale, down. Tuck your toes. Lift your knees up, hips to the sky, and then push back so your heels are on the ground. And then slowly walk your hands back. If you need to bend your knees, that's fine. Come back here and then lift your hips up. Stay right here for a second. Gently put your hands on your shins. Look up as you walk it up. Bring your hips forward. Hands on your tailbone. Gentle push forward. The happy version of you is the one that cares enough, that stays consistent enough to see your healthy come to life. Cross your arm over. You did great today. And I believe you've started something incredible for your day, for your week, for yourself. Moving forward from here, I don't wanna just be your personal trainer. I wanna be the inspiration that shows you, hey, it can start here and it can ripple out into the rest of your life. Switch arms. It doesn't need to be anything crazy, extreme. Take all this out, put all this in. It doesn't need to be all of that. Eat in a way that you know feels good to you, okay? Most of the time. Move in a way that says my body feels better when I do this. <sighs> Drop your arms down, palms to the floor, ear to your shoulder, let's stretch out your neck. Don't take the extreme route. Take the route that you can maintain a happy life with, one that has some joy in it each day. And if you can't figure that out yet, start there. Switch it over. It starts there. Any type of positive change doesn't happen if you've got a whole bunch of clutter up here. If you've got a whole bunch of heavy in your mind, take care of that. That is health, that is wellness. Okay, health and wellness and fitness, it's not all just calories burned, sweat burned, whatever. It is, I am well, I do things that make my life happy. I care enough to live in a way that helps me be the best person I can be. I feel best personally as Sydney when I am strong, when my body feels mobile, when I feel loose, when I feel like I'm taking care of myself in the way that I eat and hydrating well and getting sleep, okay? Take care of the big things. Don't take care of the many extreme measures that people tell you that you have to do. There's no secret. The secret is consistency. Do it for yourself. Do it because you know you feel better when you do. But it starts here and it starts here. Take care of this and then move forward and ripple that out into the rest of who you are and what you do. I love you so much. I'll be back here for you in our next workout. If you thought this was hard, if you thought this was great, if you are just showing up for a fitness regimen for the first time, don't give up on yourself. Believe in your ability to come back and do your best. That is all it takes. I'll be here for you. I'll see you for our next one. I love you. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Comment below and I'll see you tomorrow.